February 4th, I am making a crazy video for myself. It's not crazy at all, I'm just talking to myself. You know what? Talking to yourself is way, way, way better than talking to an insane person who wants to control you, to destroy you, and make you want to die. So what I'm doing right now isn't, ain't crazy at all, but I'm talking to myself. I never watch any of my videos, where well, I have a little bit, but barely at all. Um, I need to clean, so. <laughs> well, it is a little crazy, I'm telling myself to clean. Okay. Hey Tara, why'd you get the quarters the other day? Hey, you can do your laundry. Now, just because a jerk stole money from you at McDonald's. Well, I consider, okay, let me put it this way. I, you can give to someone, right? But I have nothing. And people should know that by now. I mean, like a guy from, you know, a church meal. I actually forget his name. Who cares? I never talk to him. I never see him. I, like, I saw him at the mission. All right. So. I'm sitting at McDonald's. I actually like, you know, being uh, in, like, a, an okay atmosphere. It's, it's like, all right. You know, um, I like going to the library. After I went to uh, breakfast this morning, um, I like being outside, yeah, like anybody would normally, in my opinion. Okay, this is taking a little long. Okay, so. A guy lied to me, and it really pissed me off, because I checked up where he said he was going on the bus. Oh, oh, there, it's freezing cold. I need bus money. I need two dollars for bus money. And that did not go to the bus. Okay? Piss me off. I opened up I had my, my roll of quarters and, uh, what the hell? You're taking my laundry money. And, oh, oh, I'll pay you back. I love you. I love you. And I don't even know who you are. I forget your name from the mission. It pisses me off. But no, he's never going to pay me back. But he knew, obviously, I bought McDonald's Senior Coffees. Yeah, yeah. Check that out. The cheapest coffee that I can buy. 74 cents. And you have to, you know, basically steal from me. Because you're never ever going to pay back. And you're like, oh, what's two bucks? Two bucks is everything for me. I have nothing at all. It pisses me off. So... This is a weirdo, weirdo video just for myself that I actually will watch. Tara, you have uh, eight dollars and quarters to do your laundry. Do it. Feel good about yourself. Take a shower. Hey, this is your day today, Tara. <laughs> Take a shower and do your laundry and clean up throw out all the shit that you never use to feel good about it. clear out everything do the best that you can for yourself tara lynn sapone my children's last name should be not seriously children's last name should be not because that's their daddy's last name. It doesn't matter if you marry or not. It's like, yeah, well, that's, you know, you know, a part of them, right? You know. Kind of weird because both my kids look like on my, my side. 
uh, my oldest looks looked he was identical looking to my older brother, which is wild. So in essence, maybe they really are my maiden name. But I, I'm just like pissed off that so naturally angry and I always will be like I had nothing to do with all of the hell that was created in my life I had nothing to do with all the lies with all the hell it's just totally wrong you know I'll bring up a girl he was uh, definitely child molested <laughs> and uh, her dad was awful um, used to hold her down in bed and she said she uh, she masturbated in her room when she was four because it felt good she was like oh you know children do that you know they they experiment and then they you know that's just natural I said no that's not natural you were childless and she couldn't accept that this was way before my kids were born so you're talking about 30 years ago Okay, some woman, she was a very good friend of mine. In fact, she gave me her diary. My certain family members stole that diary. With all the complications that they did. But that diary meant a lot to me. Because that was, you know, I had so much dysfunction in my life. And I, you know, she gave me her diary. She, And then that was about the last that I seen of her. Because... She couldn't deal with all the hell that I was going through. Well, what am I supposed to do about it? All right, let's get back to, you know, she didn't think that she was child molested. Yeah, you're child molested if, you're, if you play with yourself when you're four years old. Okay, you're not, that's not a talk. You know, you don't experiment and, and just find that out on your own. No, you were, she was unfortunately child molested, so... I'm bringing this up, uh, when she went into bars, okay, um, she, I, I mean, the way she was raised, and I would say, you know, abused to death, uh, she went into bars, and, uh, all the guys would, really make fun of her, like, well, who's gonna sleep with that hottie tonight? Like, oh, well, you know, taking turns in the bar, and it's really sad, but, um, child molested girls are promiscuous, usually. Now, there was one, Vicki Keebler, who died. Uh, she was not. Apparently, uh, I talked to her at my dad's dad's funeral and she was not promiscuous it's really weird i think she just had one guy so okay you know everyone's different okay but um this lady i'm talking about okay majorly childless a bad scene that she um slept around but it's not her fault at all the hell was created in her life to do that now her um husband wasn't really that good to her like when they first got married he was like I'm, I'm i wonder how she is i don't even know where she lives at i forget i mean it's so long ago but like the last time i went to her house i was working at like some newspapers in 1988 and I was getting away from one of my bad boyfriends. But well, actually, he wasn't all that bad. Kevin, he might, uh, his brother died. And uh, he was awful because he uh, went out with his other girlfriend while he was going out with me. And laughed the whole, you know, laughed one time. Oh, that's evil. But, you, know, like, you know, if you do something... In a relationship, you're supposed to tell the other person, okay, like, if, if you're lying to the per oh, you're the only person I'm going out with, well, don't do that. Let the other person know. 
Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going out with somebody else. So, um, I stayed at her house then. Because I'm, I'm, like, heartbroken because I thought I loved this guy. And, uh, no. No, I did not. Uh, he was going out with a girl the whole time, so I break up with him. I only went out with him, like, nothing longer than, like, two months. And, uh, whatever. Had a van living in Manhattan. And, um, actually, it wasn't, it was one of my, all oh my death relationships are so bad, especially my dead husband's. Um, I can actually say it wasn't that bad because of all the really, 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 really awful death relationships that I had. So, you know. You know, that's all he did to me? Like, what did the other ones do to me? The other ones made me go insane, but I was hurt. That was it. So that's nothing to what actually happened to me, like, later on in my death. I prefer to call my life death because that's all it was. And I had nothing to do with all of the death that was created. All the hell of death that was created in my life. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, like, what? Um. I do disagree strongly with, um, uh, everything has a reason. No, you live on Satan, damn the hell, sin, cursed earth, where, uh, evil reigns. And evil reigns all the time. Evil people just get away with doing whatever the hell they want. All the time. I, oh my god, then don't have any jails. Jails are useless. I mean, I know a um, lady that I didn't necessarily get along with, and uh, I guess she's in jail for two and a half uh, months. I mean, weeks now. I mean, okay, I don't really want to say it's negative. And she didn't deserve to go to jail. It's useless, you know. I, is she a child molester? Is she, uh, you know, I mean, did she destroy anyone's life? Uh, she might have gossiped, but so what? Everyone gossips. Well, no, that's not true. But everyone in my white trash, little horrifying little world, white trash, Jerry Springer style, were backstabbing. Slanders. Yeah. Not only... Did they gossip about the bad? Which doesn't do any good at all. So, you know, somebody does something bad. Don't repeat it. It doesn't do any good. But not only um, these are... Uh, I'm not going to stop using the word methlium. Not only did these insane, abusing narcissists... Uh, say anything bad that it, they made up stories they made up awful stories about me if you're freaking uh child must and rape and someone says you're a prostitute do you know how bad psychologically do you know how bad that really is how, what an attack that is on you it's, it's severe it's severe And, yeah, you know, my life, you know, um, and no one gives a shit. No. Alright, so, I, I <laughs> one of my bad relationships, I, you know, I, I, every, everything that happened in the, from 2016 on, oh my god, 2015. Stabbed by a uh, late theater Carl Sandlin because he brought in um, crackheads in, a, in this place and he was, he was a fake Jesus person. He was like, oh, well, I'm leading them to Christ. I'm, this is my ministry. He's like, what the fuck is the matter with you? Fucking knucklehead. Just totally insane. 
the people crackheads take over. So I, um, me and Kathy were scared to death to be over there. You know. Although what happened after that, I don't understand. Um, with her that I decide not to talk about, but Theodore Carlson is dead. So it's just like really rotten. Um, there should be no police because at that point in time, I mean, he wasn't all that bad. Yeah, there, there's bad, bad people. He wasn't all that bad. Right. Um, he, um, called the cops and the Lancaster police. He, he was like, oh, I have these people here. Please get them off out of my shitty apartment. I, these people shouldn't be here. So how long were they there? Well, if they were there for longer than two weeks, then we can't kick them out. You have to get them evicted. And that's just totally insane. So he's a 60-some-year-old man. And, um, you know, had problems. And he really didn't deserve that. Now, yeah, I mean, he was, like, mean to me, but then again, you know, what happened to me afterwards, and I'm just going to say the truth, it, it had nothing to do with me, what happened after 2015, but uh, it was the hatred of several people who think, oh, I want the worst for her, I want the worst for her, I want her dead. I want her dead. I mean, it's not just a little tiny, you know, one thought a day. Or, no, it's like constant obsessive thinking. I hope she dies. I hope she dies this year. I hope she's dead. I hope someone kills her. I hope she gets in a really bad situation. I hope they kill her. I hope, I hope, I, you know, th this is what went on. Okay. After. I mean, I had an awful life. Like, you, you and guess what? all those thoughts, then, yeah, totally fucked me up. Like, you, you can't have a whole bunch of people working against you and hate on you, hating, hating on you, hating on you, hating, 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 hating. I'll mention her name, Vicky Dodd. She said, oh my god, poor Tara has three people hating on her right now, and that would have been around... 2018, 2017, three people hating on me, it was 2016, 2017, how the fuck would I know, I, I went through too much fucking hell, that was all created on me, I, so after 2015, all the, you know, if you have a whole group of people, I hope she dies, I hope she dies, I hope she dies, three people hating on me, Three. And Vicky who died, she's like, uh, not Vicky Keebler. <laughs> she, um, she noticed that. So she wasn't a very nice person and was mean to people. I don't have to get into it, but, uh, I would say stole. So took advantage of, you know, people's money. You know, like, you just don't do that. Like, oh, you know, lie and, you know, steal. You know, take advantage of someone's money I consider stealing. Um, at least, you know, other people in your life, God can talk through. And maybe she was, you know, worse than what I know about. I don't know. Who cares? But she noticed that about me. Three people are hating on Tara. How, you know, how am I even making it? Like, I no one. No one. Wow, this is 19 minutes. Holy shit. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. I, I kind of like this video. Um, <laughs> I might just, I'll just make it public. Whatever. Okay. Um.